Welcome to another Phys Edit video. The video we're going to be looking at today is a bit of a time saver video. So if you're like most of us and you're time poor and you're looking to become more efficient with your preparation and so on, hopefully this video will help you out now. Depending on who your suppliers are of your sporting equipment will actually dictate whether or not you can use this option. But one of the suppliers we have is RH Sports and they've got some really good uh, resources you can use to help you out with your preparation now. If you don't actually have an account with them, you can actually see on their webpage that they have a guest's username and password login. So you can see here visitor and NIDA. So if you fill in those details, it'll actually give you a look at the website to see whether or not you might want to join up with them. So you can see here, uh, if you go to the website, you can see there's an info sheets link. So if you click on that link, it'll actually bring you to this page. Now, some really good info, especially for teachers who are starting out, but also if you just want to sort of refresh some of your memories about some of the activities and so on. So you can see here, if you come across the activity ideas and click on the link, Eventually it'll come up and you can see there's a number of different activity ideas, so there's different categories and so on you can search for. So you can click down, so if you click on Human Domes for example, it shows you that there's an explanation of that game. So if you go back to another one, it might be Hit and Run. So it's again just something else that another teacher sent in to explain. So there's some simple ideas that you can actually take and use for minor games. If you head across to Activity Ideas with Relation to Products, if you click on that link, it's got a heap of products you might be able to use in your phys ed classes. Now, some of this gear you will have seen before, others you may not have seen. So, for example, an easy fling set. So, if you actually click on it, it actually shows you what the equipment looks like. So, that might jog your memory. Then it's got an explanation of different activities you can play using that equipment. Okay, then if you go to Carnival Organisation, if you're the one that's in charge of organising carnivals, so you might be a sports coordinator or so on, if you click on that, there's a number of different links. So, for example, if you have to organise the swimming sports, it's got a bit of a checklist and a few different things you need to think about when you're actually setting up or preparing for those days. If you then look over drawers and sheets, you still see some staff members who are constantly drawing up their drawers by hand. It's a real time waster. If you come over to you, you can see there's different team uh, options you can use. And all you'll have to do is just fill in your students' names or your team names and actually show you how you go about doing a knockout competition. If you then move down to score sheets, again, there's a number of different score sheets you'll be able to use. So if you know that you've got handball coming up, click on that and it'll actually have a score sheet that you can use for handball. And there's a number of different sports that actually use that option as well. Team sheets, if you click on that link, again, if you've been asked to be the coach for the basketball team, if you actually click on it, you can actually print that up and you'll be able to do some diagrams and actually show your students what you want them to do, where you want them to be positioned and so on. Or just simply, if you have to actually put the names up to see who's playing that week, you can just put the names straight up, forward, guards, centers and so on. If you are in charge of actually doing the court markings or field markings, if you know you've got the athletics carnival coming up, if you've got to draw up the track, as a starting point you might be able to use this one. It doesn't have the staggers, but you'll be able to use it as a good starting point and there's a number of different sports are covered there and there's also rules for the game is another option if you click on that if you know that you've got a sport coming up but you're not really confident with the rules of that sport if you click on it for example goalball it's a game played for those who are visually impaired if you want to know the rules you can click on that link and it'll actually take you there and tell you all about it okay so there's just a number of resources and info sheets you might be able to use to help you become more efficient with your prep thanks guys